What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you get notified as soon as new content drops on the channel. Let's get into it. So, um, we have, of course, uh, Artur Baturbiev knocking out Joe Smith Jr. over the weekend, Saturday just gone. And um, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, um, Bob Aaron, Frank Warren, they've both been uh, talking about um, staging a fight between um, Anthony Yard and uh, not Dimitri Bivol, but Arto Biterbia in London. So that looks like the next move. And Bob Aaron is, in fact, um, Arto Biterbia's promoter. And he, he seems to be keen on that fight. I mentioned before, Aram is dismissive of the zone, calls it dead zone, dismissive of Eddie Hearn, clearly doesn't like him, um, so he's not into the um, to the undisputed fight. Um, but the, the thing is, uh, the fighter, Arta Biturbiev, has come out and said, look, I, am, I want Bivol next. I'm not uh, interested in... Anthony Yard, I would much prefer to fight Dimitri Bivol next. Um, he was saying that, look, unification is more important, is more interesting for me. That is the fight I want next, not Anthony Yard. And for me, as a boxing fan, um, as much as I do like Anthony Yard, I do uh, watch all of his fights and stuff as they come out. The only one I missed was that obscure one in Spain, but even that I caught on... Um, YouTube another time and yeah these these um sentiments these thoughts from um Artur Biterbiev they echo the I think the thoughts of a lot of boxing fans as I've mentioned previously that look at the end of the day yeah okay he's a mandatory challenger and whatever but the the one we really want to see much like um you know we want to see Crawford versus Spence. I mean, that's been more years in the making or whatever, but, you know, you other fights could be good in the welterweight division. You know, like Porter versus Spence was a good fight. Um, you know, Crawford versus Porter was, was decent and whatever, but we all know who the two top guys are. We know that the top guys are Spence and Crawford. So we want to see them clash. And it's the same in the light heavyweight division that, yeah, okay, yeah, Anthony Yard versus um, Biterbiev could be a good fight. There, you know, there's a very low possibility, but there's a chance of an upset in that fight by Anthony Yard, which would just throw the division wide open. But um, we all know who the the top two at light heavyweight are, and uh, without any question, without any doubt, the top two are Dmitry Bivol and Arta Biterbiev. We know exactly who they are those are the top two and those are the two that we want to see fight each other we'll take a fight yeah i'll take an anthony i'll take someone else maybe a Ramirez or whatever the other fights can be exciting but the reality is number one and number two is bivol and biterbiev and that's what we want to see so i can definitely relate to what arthur biterbiev said here that you know for him the interesting fight, the fight that he wants next is um, Dimitri Bivol because he wants to clear up the division, he wants to unify, he wants to be undisputed and that's the heart of a fight and that's what every fighter should want, you know, more than anything else, you want to clear out your division, you want to win all the bouts and you want to prove that you are the man, you are the number one in your given division and I for one, I agree with him. I agree with him. Um, as much as the yard fight that's over here, that would be good, if it's the right time and everything, I think the Bivol fight is the one that would answer all the questions about who is the main man in the division. So anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about um, Bertorbiev's comments that he is interested far more in um, the undisputed fight against um, Bivol than he is in the fight in fighting Anthony Yard. Let me know what you think about that. And until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out.